hello everyone today in this video i'll be discussing uh, the tricks and tips which you need to keep in mind to score well in ncs so if you watch this video i'll guarantee you at least you'll get 70 marks okay so if you just open the textbook and there are totally two textbooks so if you open and study from there it will take firstly a lot of time and whatever you study may not be asked in exam and the second thing is that uh, the subject is 18 me 651 right so uh, the previous years the it went in lockdown so the previous year papers are also not much available the 18 scheme papers are just april 2018 and march 2022 and the previous years uh, previous schemes paper are 10 me 74 okay those are 10 scheme papers so i went through those papers and collected some uh, relevant information so by using that information you can easily score at least 70 marks and more than 70 marks if you pay uh, a, a bit more um, attention and um, put some effort okay so uh, i'll be telling you some tips and tricks so make sure you listen carefully firstly you have to remember this figure okay so at the starting of this video you might think that i'm just uh, like not uh, uh, means uh, whatever i'm telling is not relevant but at the end of the video video everything will make sense okay so have patience and listen to me see here in this figure what all you can see <clears throat> this is the uh, sun and this is one plant and this is written bio and here h2 is written okay and here's another uh, instrument okay so if you remember these four figures you can easily score 70 marks how you can score 70 marks by just remembering because when you know about these things you can easily write the content about them and in exam it is asked just regarding these five things the most repeated concepts are just regarding these five things now i'll dive deep into each of these things and let you know what is uh, asked in that before that uh, the theory marks are 70 marks and numericals are 30 marks how i'm telling it's 30 marks it's because if you uh, take one uh, question like it will be around uh, it will be asked means from which which all modules it is asked in mainly in uh, module 2 3 and 4 in these three uh, modules as well as one a uh, first module okay in these four modules numericals are there in fifth module it's pure theory okay so if you study uh, module 1 2 3 and 4 and if in all of these uh, means at max what can happen in all of these uh, four modules some numerical came and the numerical will be around 8 to uh, 7 to 8 marks right so four modules and each 7 to 8 marks how many marks in total 28 marks so rough approximate at max it will not cross 30 marks okay max you can uh, lose 30 marks if you don't study numerical at all and i'll tell you not to study numericals unless you study the whole theory full okay first study the whole theory if you get time and you have like uh, have confidence in yourself that you can understand the formula remember and write in an exam then only go for this one otherwise uh, 70 marks should be the max limit for you okay that's the first thing and second thing let's uh, come to this part and before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have any questions send me on instagram and this is my id okay and make sure you like because that helps me make more videos like this and let's get started so it's divided mainly into two parts module one and module uh, three four and five okay in module one and two it's having some similarities and in module three four five it's having some similarities okay so uh, in module one and two what are these things is see tar sands and oil shale these are the two topics which can which can easily find in module one okay so make sure you study what is uh, tar sands and what is oil shale how it is relevant to take energy from it okay so these are the very uh, important concepts because it's repeated more than six or seven times okay so make sure you know the diagram and these things very well okay one of the important questions next the common questions are asked like uh, what is the merits and demerits of conventional non-conventional energy sources what is the india's uh, position in the production and the reserves of uh, non-conventional energy and conventional energy what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, the using the solar energy and what is the spectral distribution of extraterrestrial radiation these are the questions you can easily write by yourself so you need not pay much attention to these type of questions and these are also very much repeated ones okay for example this question is only repeated eight times if you consider the previous uh, 10 years question papers okay so you make sure you know about these things few points and about this one this one this one you need not pay much attention you can easily know these things okay and uh, the, uh, next one is the solar parameters in solar parameters you have some angles like the uh, zenith angle uh, declination beam angle and uh, slope those things are there you just need to know the formula and what are what is its relevant equation and diagram formula relevant equation and diagram if you know you can easily score marks in this topic then we have lfpc lfpc is liquid flat plate collector you need to know a to z regarding this make the diagram get to know each component of it and what is it's working why is it needed when it is needed okay those things also have some derivations in that you need to know that okay so uh, yeah derivation also that's covered here and for diagram what you need to know is you just uh, get the outlook of it 
okay don't go to the details of it just see how the diagram looks firstly is it circle square cylinder and what is inside those subcategories in the in the subcategories also whether there are squares more or circles more just make a rough diagram okay don't make uh, more complicated for yourself make a rough diagram and uh, label some some things okay don't don't leave it empty label it and even if it is wrong write it as wrong only but uh, write it neatly okay don't let the examiner know that you are writing it wrong okay so that was the tricks for the uh, first module there are mainly two topics tar sand and oil shale this is very important and these are the parameters liquid flatrate characters and a derivation regarding it and these are the common questions i think you need not study also regarding this you already know from your childhood days right what are the uh, merits and demerits of using energy and all so pay uh, more time for the other topics which you actually don't know okay that was for the module 1 and 2 your module 1 and 2 is covered in this if you study this much you can easily score full marks in module 1 and 2 okay means uh, how i am telling is because the repeated concepts are from here if there any other concept comes at max you can use uh, lose uh, 7 to 8 marks that's all okay but mainly the concepts are asked from here <clears throat> let's move on to the uh, module 3 4 and 5 in 3 4 and 5 photovoltaic system you are studying in 1200 remember that photosynthesis you are studying from the childhood days itself so these two concepts you can write by yourself and these are the very important repeated topics advantages disadvantages of otc ocean thermal energy convention tidal and geothermal also wind is there but these three are most repeated all this also you can write by yourself if you know the meanings of this you can easily write by yourself right Biogas and hydrogen very very important. If if I tell you what is the most important concept in three, four, and five, biogas and hydrogen. He, here the questions are asked like how does the biogas is manufactured, which is the instrument used, and what are these applications. Same goes for hydrogen as well. How is the storage? How is the transportation? So don't ever miss these topics. This is very important. I marked a star here. Then uh, the next one is KVIC, which is a mill for biogas. This is also very important. And horizontal axis windmill. That's also very much repeated topic. If you study this much, you can easily score ninety percent of the time. You can score um, seventy marks. Most of the repeated concepts are here only. Okay. Now, if you are done with this, now I will tell you what does this mean. If you know this uh, diagram easily, you can uh, remember that sun means like from solar energy. You have to study about the solar parameters. About this, you have to study. And from the plant, what you can study is the photosynthesis and photovoltaic. This you can remember. Tar sand oil shell uh, like that only you can remember. This is liquid flat plate character bio and H2. These are the hydrogen and biogas. These two and this whole is a structure. So structure can uh, make you remember these two things KVIC and mill. The remaining concepts are just this one. Common questions. This you can add by yourself. Okay. Make sure you never miss any of these topics. Let's move on to the numerical part. In numerical part, do only if the theory is over. Okay. So I have prepared a list of questions which I'll be uploading soon. So um, what you can uh, study is declination and LAT. This is the declination and this is the local apparent time, also known as local solar time. Two questions are there. So mainly the numericals asked mostly from this one, these topics only, seven topics. Okay, daylight hours, there is a formula. Beam angle also, there is a formula. Monthly average, there are uh, two to three parameters which you need to keep in mind. Glass has a formula, uh, means for uh, calculating different parameters and finally arranging them in a logical sequence. Plate and windmill. In these two also, uh, windmill, the questions are regarding the power density of the wind and all. So uh, I'll be discussing that in a separate video. But uh, this is what uh, the numerical consists of. If you study this much, you can uh, get around 70 marks. If you study at least two or three topics from this one also, at least you can get 10 to 15 marks. Okay, so you can get 85 marks. That's a very good marks. Uh, given that you are just studying this much. Okay, so yeah, that's all for this video. And make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.